some grading information for Wing Chun uh, level two. So some footwork drills done with a partner uh, designed to help us in our Chi Sao contact reflex training, right? So Albert and I will begin. We're gonna start with our left front stances. So we have contact, a little bit of pressure forward, we have an equilibrium here. So if I'm leading, Albert is following. He feels that pressure forward from me, but if I step away, that pressure is gonna go away so he wants to maintain that equilibrium by bringing his footwork forward as opposed to reaching with his arm. If he simply reaches with his arm, I can take advantage of his overcommitment. So each time I yield, he follows. I yield, he follows. Sometimes a small step, sometimes a larger step. Sometimes pausing in between. Once we hit the end, he goes and I follow. Once we've done both directions, then we switch and do the right side. So I lead, he follows, he, follow, he leads, I follow. And I will switch back, right? and release. Right? So next variation is very similar. Instead of following an absence of force, we're going to yield to an incoming force. So this time we're going to respond to forward pressure and yield into it. So if I'm in my front stance and my partner Albert is stepping in as I feel that pressure, I yield to that pressure. Once we've hit our limit, then I push, he flows with me. Right? So if he takes a smaller step, I take a smaller step. If he takes a bigger step, I respond to the size and intensity of the pressure that I feel. Right. Same thing when we go to our right side. If he's driving in, I yield the exact amount as he pushes forward. Just like a water balloon. He pushes a little bit, I yield a little bit. He pushes more. Thank you. So this third uh, is going to be combining both of the previous with one additional element. Right. So this time, if I am following Say my partner is moving back most of the time. Each time he yields back, I move forward. However, he may come forward at any time. When he does, I use my Tui Lan footwork, that's push off, retreating step, or if we're thinking about the, uh, the rice pattern, that's gonna be to number four, or if I'm on the other side, number six. But on my left side, as he moves forward, rather than yielding straight back, as he comes forward, I'm slipping to the side using my forward hand to deflect and grab with Lao Tzu, and I have counter punch. Or if you're shorter dealing with a taller opponent, you can take the ribs. So if I'm leading, Albert's following until such time as I push in, and then he gets off the line, Lao Tzu's and counter strikes. Right. If we switch to the right side, it's the same process. If I'm yielding, he's following until such time as I push in. Right? And then he gets, yeah, off that line to his, there it is. Right? If he's leading, he's going away until he's not. All right, continuing on with some level two gradient information, looking at some of the uh, techniques. So the first one is going to be looking at a uh, defensive tan da, hawk style strike, falling through throw punch, cross arm against straight punch. So, so it'll be a little easier to follow when you see it put together. Uh, we're going to do two different versions of it, one from a side stance, the other from a front stance. So if I'm defending from my side stance, both feet are on the zero degree line, we have a cross arm position, and as my opponent attacks, I'm staying where I am and using that Jun Ma footwork for my tan down against tan sao and counter strike. And then as that arm's withdrawing, my striking hand becomes box out. I step in and counter strike and chase him down, continuing with the follow through, right? So at tempo, that'll look. Right, now the same thing from front stance, slow. Jun Ma. Tan Sao, strike. Pak Sao, stepping in, strike. Following through, cover, return. At 
tempo. And of course, both sides. So, right side, slowly. stance slowly. Front stance at tempo. This time we're going to be starting from a front stance. We're going to stay in a cross arm relationship. This time we're looking at an attack to the middle gate. So my opponents can use a uh, lead arm low punch. So it really doesn't matter if he's dropping levels or just staying up and taking the low target. It's, it's worth seeing something coming underneath the elbow. We'll look at two different variations. First variation is a little bit of forward pressure where we're going to stay put and use the Junma footwork. The second variation, our attacker is more committed and we use the Tuima stepping back to the four or the six depending on which side we're on. Of course, rice pad. Right, so let's start it off slowly. So the attack's coming in, not much pressure. Junma. Gan Sao, splitting block, counter strike. And as he flows away, because he doesn't like getting hit in the head, we follow through, taking open targets as we find them. At tempo. Right, same thing, other side. So slowly. Continuing on with our uh, Gan Sao against the low punch. So this time we're going to look at the Tui Ma footwork and really the distinction between when we're going to use one and when we use the other is contingent on how much pressure we get. The first one we didn't have a lot of forward pressure so we were able to stay where we were and use that turn of the feet, the stance and the hips to deflect off to the side and then pursue from there. Now we're going to look at our attacker being a little bit more committed and forcing us to have to give up that position as we tui ma to our four or six on the rice pad. So looking at it slowly with some pressure, right? So I yield and then I follow through with the pursuit. So the pursuit and the arms are identical at tempo. From the right side, slowly. Right side at tempo. All right, continuing on with some level two grading information, we're going to look at two different ways of dealing with a uh, double straight punch attack to the upper gate. Uh, one of them will be from a cross arm position, the other will be from parallel position. So we'll start with the parallel position. So if I've got my right front stance, Albert has his uh, left front stance, so we're parallel, kind of mirror image. So uh, slow motion as first punch comes. Pak Sao, followed by his second punch, and I use the same arm using my Tom Sao to deflect, and then stepping in with Pak Sao punch, following through with roll punch. So without the chatting, but kind of slow tempo, 